Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So here we have planet Earth in all its beauty, healthy blue oceans, green forests near the equator, healthy ice caps near the poles. Appreciate it, because we're gonna break this. So this game has a tab called Climate, so it is capable of simulated climate in a pretty realistic way, and it does affect the simulation, so it turns on temperature calculations based on latitude, and there's a bunch of different knobs that you can turn here, so we're gonna be playing a little bit around with the climate. So one of the things that I wanna do is, what if we increase, all right, let's increase the water capacity here. Oh, and the continents are gone. <laughs> Just like that. Beautiful blue marble, but everyone's dead. I think there's a movie about this. I'm not sure. All right, I'm pretty sure if I just increase the temperature. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> 1000 degrees. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> All right. So here we have the continents again, but all the water just evaporated, maybe? What's the composition now? Oh, water is plasma now. Look at this. The water turned into plasma. It's not even gas. It's just plasma. Europe is done for. It's getting colder again. What if we change the composition, though? Oh, and now Earth is a gas giant. Oh my god, what is that? Look at the temperature here. It doesn't matter how much I fight it. It just goes down because it's a gas giant, maybe, and it diffuses temperature. I'm not sure how thermodynamics work. Every time I increase temperature, it just starts leaking gas. Look at that. And now something happened here. Is it is it frozen? I think it's frozen, yeah. So that right there is frozen water. And now it's getting hotter again. Maybe the fact that it's water makes it so that it can retain heat. I'm not sure. Oh, all right. Too much heat, I guess. So here we have Earth's temperature. It does have sort of like a sine wave here. All right, I'm being very professional with my descriptions. So it fluctuates between about 15 degrees and 14 degrees. Now, one of the things that I would like to change is, let's change atmosphere mass. I'm not sure what that means. Let's duplicate it. Oh my God, it actually makes it less volatile. Look at that. It's not that bad. It used to be like a sine wave this big, and now it's less volatile, but it's going down. <laughs> it's getting colder because of atmosphere mass. Hmm. Oh yes, the ice caps are getting bigger for sure. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty cool. What if we do that again? I don't see a pattern here. Do I? All right, so here's a cool, interesting test. We have carbon dioxide, right? So CO2. So this game allows me to change the carbon dioxide emission. So what I can do is change the emission rate. So what if I double it? We're going at months per second here. So, oh, so we doubled it and it's definitely going a little bit further up. A little bit further up. Let's see in this year what's gonna happen. This is another year. It's going up. Yep. It's going up just by doubling the emissions. What if we do it times 10? What's gonna happen then? We are at 800 gigatons of CO2 in the atmosphere right now, and it's going up. So this is what I wanna do. I wanna sort of like recreate what would happen if we just completely ignore any sort of like environment warning and just pour as much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere as possible. Tesla decides all of a sudden to go full diesel. Everyone's out of the green deal. Let's just break our planet's ecosystem. 1000 gigatons of CO2 in the atmosphere and it's going up. Deposition rate, I think this is what you lose in terms of carbon dioxide per year. This would basically be the effect of rainforests, plants, and stuff like that, right? Let's delete that. <laughs> Let's simulate what would happen with full 100% deforestation. That's that's pretty much zero right there. Let's just keep going, man. Just, just multiply this emission rate here. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Two million gigatons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Oh, that's hot. I wonder if it'll stabilize at some point. It seems like it is. Look at the curve, right? All right, so here's an interesting effect right here so we have two billion gigatons of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere right we have perfect distribution of heat across the globe perfect diffusion of heat across the globe and this is what happens <laughs> everything's frozen what's the temperature it's zero degrees it's not very volatile let's let's take a look at the graph here yeah there's like no change at all 
That's a glitch right there. That's an error in the simulation. It's not an ice age, all right? This is a stable graph right here. There's no trend upwards or downwards. I haven't changed the orbit around the sun. It's pretty much the same. All I changed was the carbon dioxide and the diffusion. So here's another test, no diffusion whatsoever. So what we can do is just go as close to zero as possible. So since there's no diffusion here, I feel like we should see bigger poles, right? Like ice caps around the poles. Oh yes. Oh yes. All the northern side of Europe is frozen at this point. Yeah, so the, the poles are getting bigger. That's for sure. Yep, there you go. Bigger poles. What about the, the bottom one? What about the, the south pole? I don't see anything down there. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Europe is done. <laughs> Europe is done. What about the south? Oh, yes, that's a bigger south pole. Holy crap, that's gigantic. Jesus, it's it's massive. It's gigantic. What is that? I can't even tell. Oh, that's Japan right there. Oh, my God. You can literally just walk from Russia all the way to Canada and the US. <gasps> Look at this. There's a, there's a massive, massive ice cap right here. What about the south? Oh my god. Oh yes, the poles are getting bigger. What's the average temperature? 10 degrees. So what this basically means is that the heat is going to be concentrated around the equator and everything near the poles is going to be frozen. <laughs> All right, now it's going up and now it's going down again. So there is, there is still fluctuation here. <laughs> oh my god. This actually looks really cool. Look at this. Look at the poles. <laughs> They're massive. What if at this point we reduce the carbon dioxide? Oh, it's gonna make it colder, dude. It's gonna make it colder even. <laughs> Look at this. We are in negatives now. I love this. I love how this looks. There's there's no Europe now. <laughs> Europe is gone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, the US is gone. This is a winter unlike anything the Russians have ever seen. Let's go all the way down to zero carbon dioxide. Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I bet at this point everyone would have moved towards the, the equator, right? Oh yes, Malaysia, the Philippines, upper northern, um, northern Australia, right? South America and Africa. Everyone's there at this point. Oh no. Oh no, dude. No. No. No! It's closing the gap. The gap is closing, my dudes. Oh, shoot, boys. That's how the world ends. You guys want to reduce carbon emissions? You guys want this? Is this what you want? <laughs> is this your dream? All right, let's increase the carbon emissions here. Come on. All the way up to 2 billion gigatons of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere let's save the world that's right co2 please save the world i think it's too late boys <laughs> i don't think it matters it doesn't matter how much carbon dioxide it doesn't matter how much co2 we just drop into the atmosphere <laughs> can we save this please <laughs> Everyone get on your trucks right now. Burn some plastic, please. Let's speed this up. How many years is it gonna take to retake the earth? Oh no. <laughs> Dude, it's not happening. It's just not happening. Look at this. It's still closed. It's still done. Oh boy, two billion. How many do we have? Two million gigatons of CO2 in the atmosphere and it cannot save the earth <laughs> from um from this ice age oh boy this is bad <laughs> i think the only thing we can do is just revert this right oh boy i may have broken the world <laughs> maybe that's a little bit too much carbon dioxide then <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> um, yeah, this is torture. I'm pretty sure uh, I shouldn't be playing around. I shouldn't be in charge of uh, leading the world's efforts against, I don't know, climate change. 
I'm gonna tip the scale either too far to one side or the other, so let's just leave it at that, you know? Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.